This is a 1997 Fender American Deluxe Precision Bass with steel saddles and they're grooved, you just about to see there, to place your string wherever you like. And this is completely standard, never been changed. These are Graftech high performance saddles which are apparently meant to dramatically reduce string breakages. Now I've never broken a string in my life, on a bass at least, even though I used to play really, really, really hard. Um, but apparently these help it last longer. But more importantly, it's meant to reduce breakages, improve high end bite, improve mid range depth, um, permanently lubricate the saddles, improve tuning, um, it's not going to rust, and it improves my confidence while I was playing. But is there any difference on sound between these and these? Let's find out.
Okay, so they are now on, and we've done all the tests. Um, I think it does sound a bit clearer. I think when you listen to those tracks, you can hear it slightly brighter. Um, like you've turned the... Um, it's almost like playing with the normal um, saddles. It's with the tone turned down a bit. And this is with just a little bit more treble in there. Maybe it's Misery and Bite they're talking about. Um, it's kind of subtle, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, I think if you like playing jazz or anything like that kind of... Um, I don't know, that kind of style, where you want to really cut through in a clean sound, very precise and very snappy, then these are a really great upgrade, it's only about 20 quid I think, for the set. Um, also, when I'm playing, it feels like everything's a lot more together, it's like all the strings are tighter, it feels a lot firmer. I think because, once you look at this, the, these guys, are, you see closer, are not moving around at all. These are really, really tight together. And that is an incredibly solid bridge now. Um, on the old Fender saddles, the original ones, they, you'd move that and the whole thing would jump around a bit. These really aren't going anywhere. So maybe that's what it is, because um, I know that the side movement's meant to affect your tone. Uh, apart from that, it just looks kind of cool. So it's now black. Um, this pit guard's being changed to a nice black one soon to make it a sexy base. Um, that's about it, so yeah, definitely go for it, definitely worth for it, worth it. The only thing I don't like is that on the fender ones, so I've got some around here, um, with those sort of ribbed areas, you can really adjust how the bass feels a lot. So you can make strings sort of move around a bit, so if you like playing a lot of sort of you know, really sort of heavy digging into this um, low E, then you can move that further into the fretboard to get you a lot more dig. Um, or if you like sort of playing up here a lot on the high G, you may want to move that in a bit, so that when you're um, doing whatever you're doing, you can just dig it, it's not going to sort of fly off the edge of the um, fretboard. Um, you can't actually do it on this because these are just single grooves in there. But that's not really a problem, it didn't feel too bad when I was playing, and if you look at the top here, it aligns pretty well with the peephole pieces. Um, I guess they could also have moved to the left a bit, but it's not too bad. Um, and with this big old J humbucker, it lines, yeah, again, it could move to the side, but as you see, there's not really any movement for change around here. So it's probably not as good as your Badass um, 2 bridge, which will cost you about four or five times as much, but it looks cool, it's cheap. Go for it.